on the green and red coconut club. So it looks like HHN has started early here. It's like Homer's got a foot fetish or something. Guys, it is Christmas Eve. We are at Universal Studios. We have a lot planned today. Uh, we're gonna go to the green and red coconut club. They've added some new additions. There's a ton of more updates, new stores that have opened. It's insane how much Universal has changed since the last time I was here. Over here at the movie theater, again, if you're an annual pass holder, you get $8 tickets. But they have all these advertisements up for Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I saw Puss in Boots last night. I went in with very low expectations. DreamWorks hasn't really produced anything. It Really impactful in a very, very long time. Cookies are for closers. <laughs> So I went in with low expectations, like, okay, Puss in Boots, the side character, he's getting a sequel. It's been in development for like a decade. It's almost a masterpiece. It is so good. Every single frame looks like a painting. Uh, for the trailers, I was kind of iffy. I was like, okay, what? Well, how's this gonna be? It's like that weird 2D, 3D animation, but it looks beautiful. I saw it in like 3D last night. They give the emotional scenes time to be emotional and they don't cut the emotion with a joke. Um, the characters are wonderful. The story is wonderful. The animation is wonderful. It's a nine out of 10. It is one of my favorite movies of the year. Did not think I was gonna be saying that. Definitely top five. It's moving up there. Uh, I hope it gets nominated for an Oscar for Best Animated Film. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish is amazing. When the movie ended, our theater was clapping. That really doesn't happen too much in movies anymore. That's how much everybody enjoyed it. Universal, good job. There are some good little Easter eggs for all you ogre boys out there. There's some subtle Easter eggs, uh, but it's not crammed full of them because I think a lot of movies now rely too heavily on nostalgia and Easter eggs, and this is able to kind of give you a few winks and nods to the, you know, the Shrek universe, but also being its own thing, which I appreciate it. So there is some cool Puss in Boots stuff happening in Universal Studios, so we're gonna show you that. If you've seen this movie, let me know down in the comments, what did you think? Everybody's freaking out because it's like 40 degrees here in Orlando today, especially Brent. I'm still in like my New York weather. I was freezing all last week. How are you holding up there, buddy? Are you cold? Freezing. It's cold, man. Now, one of the fun things that the team members do here at the Starbucks here at CityWalk, there's like a little elf on the shelf, and every day throughout Christmas, they hide him throughout the store. So every time you come in, we hit it at a different spot. We found him today, this is a good little spot. Right above the entrance, the little elf is hidden right there. So cold out the water has even frozen solid. All right, now the big medallion that normally goes right underneath the archway is gone. I'm guessing because it's a little windy out. The entrance to Villains Con was all concreted now. Now they have the poster out here. It says Villains Con, Minion Blast coming summer 2023, Universal Orlando Resort. So it's gonna be based on Villains Con from the Minions movies. And it still looks like they're refurbing the outside. Right, now if you look, they have all these signs up that are in the queue. I believe these are gonna be descriptions of each one of the villains. I think that's what they're gonna be about. Crowds are not bad at all, but I'm gonna show you a bunch of little Easter eggs that Universal put out. Um, so in all the garland throughout the park, they have little Easter eggs and nods to past attractions. We're gonna do a whole run through of all of them. So over here with the race through New York with Jimmy Fallon, if you look all the way up here, they have a little cow because this is where Twister used to be and there used to be a cow that would fly by. Now over here, where Rip Ride Rocket cuts through, this is where the Ghostbusters show or attraction used to be. So on the wreath right here, they added some marshmallows for the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, some of Slimer's ectoplasm is on the wreath. Right, let's hop into the tribute store real quick, see if there's any new merchandise. Now we do have some uh, news about the tribute store. We'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but uh, they've added a couple more photos to the wall. Now they have a new Earl the Squirrel plaid pillow. It's gonna be $45. Now for $25, they have Earl the Squirrel earmuffs. And then also for $25, they have an Earl the Squirrel little beanie. For $18, they made ornaments of the little books that they have at the end of the tribute store. They have one for Mardi Gras, and they got one for Spooky Tales with Earl. And then they have one for the Holiday Tree Hunt. Now for $17, they have some Earl the Squirrel socks. Now here's a little shot of those little books that have, they've turned into ornaments. But over here, they've added something. Uh, let's read it real quick. Now, if you didn't know, at the end of all the tribute stores, they kind of add a little Easter egg for what's coming up. So since the month is almost over, it's gonna be Mardi Gras coming up next. So, all right, so this is brand new. It says, Tribute Moving Company. Need help? Act now. Don't hesitate to call any time of the day. We are here for you. From New York to Hollywood, we deliver anywhere. Stop by for a consultation today. You know, you know it's cold when the mummy guys aren't uh, shirtless. They have their little robes on, keep them a little warm. So he's got like a golden shirt on underneath. The ride that used to be here is Confrontation. So they added a little King Kong all the way up here in the garland right next to Sahara Traders. I know by Auntie Anne's, they have pretzels in the garland. Now over by Finnegan's, they added some nice little details. They have like red solo cup lights and little Christmas decorations on the fire escape. And this is the the, uh, instrument store so they have a bunch of music notes and instruments in the garland the blues brothers are coming out they got some santa hats on now where the beat built
builders perform. They put some Christmas lights. They have a little Christmas wreath that has a little Beat Builders caution sign and a bunch of tools and safety equipment around the Christmas wreath. All right, so the mac and cheese booth that had that wonderful mac and cheese that I had here last time is gone. I came here about two weeks ago and uh, all the team members didn't know where it went. It's been two weeks and I don't think it's coming back until probably Mardi Gras time. Now they do have some little Christmas decorations up here over by the Alcatraz bar. It's one of the best bars here at Universal Studios. Now they have a lot of cool memorabilia on this side of the wall, but over here they have, it says, here comes Santa Jaws. It's a little, poor little gingy about to be eaten by Bruce. And they have a bunch of different like shark stockings and some little fun Jaws ornaments on the wall. I love little details like this, right? So you have like the Christmas decorations. Then where the Order of the Phoenix is, there's no Christmas decorations. And they go back to Christmas decorations. So it's little things like that, right? That you gotta appreciate. Okay, we do have a little update here in the Men in Black gear shop. They added something. Uh, let's see how it looks. I don't like this. This looks very tacky. But let me just show you. All right, so when you're exiting Men in Black, you know, over here, it's where the photos would pop up. And this is where you could buy your photos, but they've turned it into an arcade. So they have claw machines, can be in the Batmobile. They walk and they have candy claw machines, squishy claw machines. They do have this really cool, like, Spider-Man pinball machine, though. Dead Storm Pirate. They have Injustice. They do have a Men in Black arcade game, though. You can win iPads crammed in this little corner. They have a Jurassic Park arcade. One of my favorite things in this gift shop, they had the first Men in Black playing on a loop in these weird little, like, orb TVs. I just think Universal doesn't know what to do with this attraction. It definitely needs a facelift if they're going to keep it. So I think this might be the next area that gets renovated after Epic Universe opens. Let's see if there's any Christmas merchandise inside the Quickie Mart. Now, we popped inside the Quickie Mart. They have this brand new flannel like from cake worthy so it says the simpsons right there on the pocket you have bart and then on the back it says don't have a cow man and you're looking at 70 dollars for this flannel for 60 dollars, they have this new button-up shirt it's also from cake worthy of the whole simpsons family and then for 65 dollars, they have a matching dress for 40 dollars, they have this giant like collage of all the simpsons characters for 50 dollars, they have an itchy and scratchy like pajama set pretty soft fabric this is bizarre these are slippers they're 27 dollars, and you like put your feet inside homer it's like homer's got a foot fetish or something. For $10.95, they have a squishy little cup. $52, they have a long sleeve t-shirt. It says, oh, what fun it is. And then for $28, it says, do ho ho, with Homer eating some donuts. And then they have a kid's small t-shirt. $23. Deck the halls. And they have a bunch of little ornaments here. You have Homer right here. This one spins. It says Universal Studios with Homer on it. Then it says to Homer. You get a big pink donut. And you have a Duff beer. And then a little smaller can of Duff beer. So it looks like HHN has started early here at Universal Studios. This is just so funny seeing them all tarped up. Duff beer topiaries. It looks like they've been wrapped in body bags. What is going on? Look at his hand sticking out like that. They are topiaries and since it's so cold they don't want them to die so they've covered them in tarp. It looks like Treehouse of Horrors is actually happening here. All right, now over here, they added a little nod for Back to the Future, because over where the Simpsons attraction was, that's where the Back to the Future ride was. So they added on this little piece of garland right here. They put a little DeLorean right there. They do a little photo up here for Puss in Boot, the last wish. Now, the days are extremely numbered for uh, Kid Zone here. This is all going to be renovated and uh, redone. Uh, we'll do a deeper dive when we cover this whole area before it closes about what's coming. Looks like Poe's doing a meet and greet. Right, we're on the hunt for Kitty Soft Paws. We're going to the DreamWorks destination, the little dance party that they have here. It is lit in here right now. I'm rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tags Kitty, your movie is one of the best movies of the year I loved it, I hope it wins an Oscar Like, it was that good So, you guys did wonderful acting in it Your, your best performance yet I'm excited to see what happens next, right? So that's the only place that you can meet Kitty Softpaws right now uh, within Universal Studios. I believe Puss in his little Christmas outfit, I believe he does some meet and greets throughout the parks before the parade. Puss in Boots is out right now. So all these characters are out doing little meet and greets. Earl is out doing meet and greets right now. Do you want to meet Earl? Never meet your heroes. All right, so this is the big news, as we know. Williams of Hollywood, the old prop shop, has closed. They've knocked down the wall. They closed the dark room. And they just announced that in January, the annual Passwater Lounge is closing. Uh, they're putting a new one at Islands of Adventure. So that'll be the new annual Passwater spot. So they're going to knock down this wall. So it's going to become one giant tribute store. As we read that little piece of paper, they're moving it from New York to Hollywood. This is Hollywood right here. So the tribute store is going to be over here. At the pharmacy here, this is like a little ice cream parlor. They put a little overlay for it for Puss in Boots. So it's called the Milk Bar.
Now to blend in with all the photos and everything, they added the characters. You got Puss, Kitty Soft Paws. And there's another little Kitty Soft Paws, like her little action moment. You just want to rub his tummy. They have the trailer playing back there. They have Puss right there. And Puss and Kitty Soft Paws on the menu board. Drink, squirt. Okay. They have three special milkshakes. We're gonna start from the top this time and then work our way down the menu to try them all for you guys. So we'll start with this one. All the ice cream in here and for the milkshakes are Hagen Das. Scooping the ice cream right now. The shake is the size of my head. This is only $10. They are scooping so much ice cream into that. I thought it was like a small little shake that they have at quick service, but this is like a proper ice cream shake. I got the Kitty Soft Paws Tuxedo, cookies and cream ice cream, hot fudge, Oreo crumbs, white chocolate paw. Got little Kitty's paws right there. Solid milkshake. It kind of tastes like your standard kind of cookies and cream milkshake. I think we do like an eight out of 10. Now, this is where the Born Stuntacular is, but it used to be the Terminator attraction. If you look really closely up there, they have a little Terminator skull. All right, so the Brown Derby has reopened after a very, very, very long time. Universal Orlando Resort presents the Prop Shop, limited time only. Yeah, we're heading in. So it's all props from Universal that you can get. This is the uh, $50 sign from the t-shirts that they would sell. I've never seen a sign before. I guess this was at HHN. This is my Wolfman costume. This is my creature costume. The mummy. This is uh, $250. Then for like $400, they have the HHN banners from this year. For $450, they have the display of the vinyl that was in the tribute store this year. And these are really cool. These are outside the tribute store, kind of talking about what was happening inside Witch's Cottage. These are each going to be $200 each. So it's $600 for the entire set. $1,800 from for the scarecrows and the scarecrow stock. It's SpongeBob's house. It's gonna be three hundred dollars. That's who you're into. Like, what? Where's this stuff from? I have just so many, so many questions. This is, this is gonna run you ten dollars. Two hundred fifty dollars. It's a motorcycle helmet seen in the Fast and the Furious display. They have the entire backdrop from the Universal Studios tribute store from the summertime where Kong was out and you could be in his hand. So King Kong run you five hundred dollars or two thousand dollars. They have the control room door from the summer tribute store from two years ago. For $1,500, they have like the Velocicoaster signage. This stuff is heavy. And then for $400, this is from the Jaws section of the Tribute Store. The window was in the Summer Tribute Store. And these are photos actually from the Jaws attraction that they had in the background as a backdrop. This is gonna be the Rocky Horror Banner for $1,500. I don't remember when this was at Universal. $3,500. They have the mirror, the magic mirror from Shrek 4D. Okay, this is that scarecrow that gave me nightmares. So the scarecrow stock from this year. Uh, it's going to run you $2,000. For $300, you can get a Velocicoaster sign. A visual prop, Sing 2. be $100 for this sign. $100 for that sign. $500 for the tribute theater sign. This thing is massive. And this arcade machine. Right, so this will run you $3,000. This is from HHN Video Game Display. Just realize they have the uh, banner from the Dead Coconut Club right up here. I don't see a price on it though. They got like the concept art from the Mardi Gras Tribute Store from last year. So run you $150. A lot of like the really good stuff and like the more affordable stuff sold out like on opening day. So I'm excited for like all the Earl the Scroll stuff that'll show up here from the Christmas Tribute Store. Stuff's a little pricey, but cool stuff in there. Now it's time to go to the Hello Kitty shop. So the floor has all been redone. The rumor is this is gonna get renovated next year. Okay, we're leaving Universal. Crossing our fingers, the Green and Red Coconut Club is open. Universal, please do not have a private event. I swear to God, if you have another one, I'm like four times in a row now, and it's been a private event every single time. Please be open. Moment of truth, is it a private event? I think we're good. I don't think it's a private event. It's open, there's no private event. This is a, this is a Christmas miracle. Okay, so as you know, I reviewed all the drinks that are on the standard menu. They're not very good. The bartenders all united and they created a secret menu. No one liked the actual menu. Uh, so we're gonna do the secret menu this time. This looks like actual drinks where they're not just throwing random Christmas ingredients in it, which was making them revolting. So this is the, the first secret cocktail drink that we got. We got the Grinch. Uh, it's green. The Grinch's eyes are looking at you. It's gonna have rum, peach snaps, pineapple or orange juice with blue curacao with Sprite. This is the Christmas festivity that we want. The name that fits and the, the cocktail ingredients that seem decent. Okay, the review on the drink. Better than most of the drinks on the standard menu. Imagine you um, are eating juicy fruit gum and then you take some mouthwash and then you drink kind of a watered down Sprite. It kind of works. It kind of doesn't. I think we do like a six I don't think I'd get it again, but I'm not disgusted by it like I was with the other drinks. It's time to go on to the next secret menu drink for you guys. I asked the bartender what's their favorite drink. They said it was the sugar cookie. This could be vodka, Bailey's, rimmed with icing. 
first it off, it kind of started like a creamy potpourri. That went away when you mix everything together. Now it's just kind of like a liquid alcohol sugar. I'm gonna do a seven out of 10. I'm definitely feeling it. Again, these drinks here at this bar, you need two and you're good to go for the rest of the day, which is good because you go to Disney, you need like three or four to feel anything. Now that we've had two drinks, we are ready to party. It's time for a good time. Uh, we're about to find the pickles. There's 10 pickles, so there's 10 of them we gotta find throughout here. There's none on the back wall of the bar and there's none past the elf. We got one right here on the Christmas wreath. We got number two. We got number three here in the small little tiny village. Now, they were saying there's uh, eight actual pickles and two pickles that are paper. These were stolen. Some person stole these, so they've been replaced with paper. I'm kind of a big deal. Wait, what are we at, four now? Number five here. Uh, we got number six, a little paper one up there. Above this Santa locked in his cage is uh, number seven. Number eight over here. Number nine is up here. We're down to one more. Look at this weird, creepy bust of Santa. Right? The final one is right here. It only took about six people to find them, the, them all, but we accomplished it. Oh no, the sassy Santa Davy Jones Santa is out of order. I'm gonna miss the Green and Red Coconut Club when it goes away. Now this is where the singers will perform. We'll stop by another night, show off their little song and dance. The little pickle thing is a lot of fun. A lot of the kids were there trying to find the pickles in the tree and everything. There's a couple little more Easter eggs that I to point out for you guys. Now it is Christmas Eve and uh, honestly, I don't want this Santa coming down the chimney. All right, we have some fun little to and from stickers that they've added. So this barrel says, to the green and red coconut from the dead coconut. Over here, here's a little package. To Wolf Man from Santa. To Bride from Frankie. To Gil from Kay on the diver's helmet. To Millicent from Gil. It's kind of cool that throughout the season, right, they've added more little Easter eggs throughout the entire coconut club. All right, and the book over here, to Drac from no Right? All the people here visiting looking for all the little Easter eggs everywhere. That's one of the things that I love that Universal does is they add these fun little Easter eggs that get people coming back for more. Right? All right, that is a wrap on the Green and Red Coconut Club. So we are now going to be going into Islands Adventures. All right, now they recently got something new in the Universal Studios. These are each going to be $15. It's going to be a pumpkin juice sipper, kind of based on the pumpkin juice that you can get inside the Wizarding World. And it looks like it comes with one free first refill on a drink. They got something new. They got the Family Mobile. It's not a mini van it's a dodge charger family how much is it 180 all right for dinner we're heading off to mythos we've made it into mythos one of my favorite restaurants all right let's try the octopus first okay so first off we got the mediterranean grilled octopus citrus charred octopus roasted corn with a kalamata olive relish with roasted garlic lime aioli we got the little end of the tentacle right there Wonderful char flavor to it. Nice and tender. That's like an 8.5. And then we got the semolina crusted calamari, tender calamari flash fried served with Spanish chorizo aioli with a charred lemon. Oh my god. Again, the smokiness from the aioli. Wonderful. Calamari. Sweet and sour and smoky. Wonderful. 10 out of 10 as always. And then we got the Mythos Signature Lamb Burger. Hand-packed ground lamb, grilled onion, shredded lettuce, fresh tomato, feta, feta olive aioli served with Parmesan french fries. Hi, right, burger. Wonderful as always. Service. Wonderful as always. And one of my favorite theme park restaurants. It's a must. Okay, so guys, we are back at home. Let's kind of talk about our little day real quick. Again, another big update at Universal Studios. It's constantly changing. Green or Coconut Club, secret menu, a lot better. Uh, we have another video coming up pretty soon with more of the secret menu drinks. And the secret menu is far superior to the standard menu. So bartenders, good job of creating those little holiday concoctions. I enjoy the little pickles that were added. I really enjoy the Green and Red Coconut Club. I hope it comes back for the Mardi Gras time. We have the prop shop that came back, the new milkshakes. There's a ton of new reasons for annual pass holders and locals to come to Universal Studios right now. Uh, there's gonna be a lot changing coming up in the next month or so inside the Universal Studios side because Kids Zone is closing. We will be covering all of that. Again, you gotta go see Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I'm pretty hard on all movies. It's one of my favorite movies of the year. I still have a couple more films to review before I have my top 10 list for 2022. So I should have that done by the first week of January to kind of share with you guys about like what was my favorite movie and TV show throughout the year. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, join the family. I love the family! Because I'm gonna keep you up to date all things Universal Studios and theme park. I love you all and I'll see y'all very soon. Freezing. It's cold, man.